Hello, English learners. In this video, we are going to go over vocabulary for furniture, for items you might find in a living room of a house. So get your notebooks ready, get your tablets ready, whatever you use for learning vocabulary, because we are going to dive right into this lesson. If that's something that interests you, keep watching. This here is called a couch, a couch. Um, here in the United States, we tend to call them couches. Um, in other English speaking regions of the world, you might hear sofa more often. And we do sometimes use sofa here, but couch is more common. This we call a rocking chair because it rocks back and forth. You might have seen one of these in your grandparents' house, a rocking chair. And here we have a love seat, a love seat. A love seat is a couch, but it's meant for just two people, a love seat. This is called a recliner, a recliner, because it reclines, meaning it goes back, a recliner. And this is called a sectional, a sectional, a type of couch, but it's much more casual, much more comfortable, a sectional. And these are something you might find on your couch. We call them throw pillows or cushions. Throw pillows or cushions. And the fabric covering these windows, we call curtains, curtains. And these we call drapes, very similar to curtains, but they're much thicker and they are meant to block out the light from the window, drapes. And this here is a curtain rod. It's the pole, the long pole that you put your curtains on, a curtain rod. And these are blinds. They are usually plastic and they have little slats which can control the amount of light coming in through your window and you can put them up and you can put them down. We call them blinds. Kind of like blinds, but we call these shades. You can put them up and down, but they don't have those little slats, shades. And these are shutters, kind of like blinds, but they're actually built into the window. And a lot of times they are wood, not just plastic. We call them shutters, shutters. And this is a window screen, which you might find on the outside part of your window, a window screen. And this is a coat rack, a coat rack. Maybe in the living room, sometimes it's right at the entrance of your home, a coat rack. A floor lamp, a lamp that sits on the floor, a floor lamp which is different from a table lamp, which sits on a table. And this is a coffee table, which you might find in your living room, usually right in front of your couch, a coffee table. Some living rooms might have overhead lights. This is the light that is on your ceiling, an overhead light. Some might have a ceiling fan, which is the fan that is on the ceiling, a ceiling fan. And on the wall, we have wallpaper. It's a nice design, wallpaper. This is called a fireplace, a fireplace. And this large clock right here, we call a grandfather clock, a grandfather clock. The clock here, we call an analog clock, an analog clock, the one that goes to tick, 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 tick around an analog clock, which is different from a digital clock, a digital clock. On your coffee table, or maybe on your little side tables of your couch, you might find coasters like this to put your drink on. And here in the middle of this living room, we have a large rug, a rug. 
And in my living room, I have these. I have a TV and I have my handy remote to change the channel or turn on the volume or turn it off when I go to sleep. And here we have an outlet. It might look different in your country where we plug in cords or unplug cords, just some more vocabulary, plug, unplug. And these are speakers and surround sound speakers. Okay, so the surround sound you might place around you to get more realistic sound audio. And in some living rooms, we have radiators, radiators. And here is a houseplant. Some people like to keep houseplants in their living rooms. So that was an, an exhaustive list of things you might find in your living room. Let me know if I missed anything. You can add some things that you have in your living room that weren't in this video. I do hope it was useful. I hope you learned some new living room vocabulary. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give me a like. Subscribe if you'd like more English lessons, English vocabulary lessons like this. And until next time, English learners.